Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to NASCAR 06 Fantasy Cup 2. Today, it's Bristol, baby. Let's do this. Oh, they ain't showing the standings this time. We got three wins, three top fives, four top tens, and six races. So, a little up and down. <laughs> and yes, I dug out another old hat for you guys for this one. It is the Lowe's number five hat of Kyle Busch. It actually... Hold on. You could, you could maybe kind of see that there. I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> dig it out the old hats for this series because why not? Anyway, huh, this is going to be a thing just because we're going to be in the back room in traffic. We're going to be like half a lap down to start the race. But I think while we'll probably ruffle some feathers, I think we should be able to make our way through the field. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> Let's try to not immediately tick off everyone, because a lot of the people are our friends. <laughs> what is Boris said doing up there? Did you see that? He went on the apron, <laughs> turn one, picked up like four spots. I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, uh, yeah. We don't want to tick off everyone back here, because a lot of these people are our friends. I almost killed... 11 there. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, hit him. Oh, still hitting him. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. It has begun. What is Tony Stewart doing back here? Also, Mike Bliss, who's been having such a good year. What are you guys doing back here? Hmm? You don't belong back here. You didn't have to do a uh, last to first challenge like I did. Oh. Oh, God. 22. Ward or Wimmer, whichever one of you it is. I think it's, uh, Ward, right? Yeah. Alright. So it's been a little bit since my last recording of this. Not like a super long time, but the, uh, the series... Oh, good lord. Well, there goes Boris. Uh, the series has officially been going, though, uh, on YouTube for a little bit, and the reception's good. You guys are seeming to, to enjoy it. It's getting pretty good views. I'm happy. It feels like it was a good idea. <laughs> now I am going for the uh, the more clickbaity, sensational type of thumbnails and uh, titles. Nothing like misleading, but you know, the whole capital letter subtitle first kind of thing. And uh, it's I don't know if it's helping. It's not hurting, so there's that. But, uh, but yeah. All right, so we had this set up in from the past, so I'm assuming it's one of the, uh, the good ones. I mean, it feels pretty good. We're carving our way through the field. We're already almost halfway through the field, and we've only bumped a couple people. No... No wrecks yet or anything. All right, 22nd. Oh, yellow flag. All right. Well, that's not of our doing, though, so that's that's nice. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Jeff Burton kind of forced Mark Martin into the fence there and came across his nose. That's what it looked like to me. Or no, Mark was already in the fence, but then Burton came up anyway. Wow. That was something. So Mark was in trouble anyway, and then Burton just sort of sealed the deal. Okay. Should I have pitted there? I don't... Uh-oh. That could be a problem. They, uh, they pitted. They know something I don't. I am concerned now, because this might have been one of those things where... It's a two-stop race where you run out, like, with 15 to go or something. And now they're fine, but I'm not. That could be a real problem. My saving grace is going to be now I'm out in clean air, and I can drive away from these guys, get a big lead, and uh, maybe 
maybe I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know what I'm going to do because they're not going to pit for quite a while. And uh, yeah, this could be a problem. Probably my best hope at this point is um, a caution that would enable me to pit and work my way up from the rear again. Because if I get off sync and I have to pit again, like, unless I'm a freaking, even, I'd have to be more than a lap ahead because the pit stop usually lose like two laps almost. So, yeah, it's, uh, this could be a problem. I really wasn't expecting them to pit there. And I briefly thought about it. I was like, yeah, I could, but then I thought, eh, I got track position. Let's just go with it. And then, yeah, well, I've really got track position. So there's that, but, um, <laughs> whoops okay well we're doing it now so there's that anyway i'm trying to decide oh god what to talk about in these things because i try to avoid current events because i'm ahead so far and all that but i guess i could briefly talk about this whole nascar 75 thing as of when I'm recording this, they had just announced Kevin Harvick. He's one of the last ones they've announced. There's only a few slots left. And people are assuming that those slots are going to go to... Like, the leading thought is Jimmy Johnson, of course. Um, Matt Kenseth, Joey Logano. And I don't, like, disagree, I guess. I mean, you guys know I'm not a huge Logano fan, but I also don't hate him as much as I used to, so... There's no denying he has two championships, no matter how you feel about how he got them. And, uh... You know, a bunch of wins and stuff, so... There's that, but, um... I'm actually concerned that Kenseth won't get it. Like, Kenseth deserves it. Kenseth, in my opinion... Like, accolades aside, I mean, obviously he does have a championship and wins and stuff, but... Even accolades aside, just I think he's one of the most talented drivers uh, of all time for sure. So personally, I think it would be a huge shame if he if he missed the list. So Jimmy's a shoe in Kenseth, I hope, and then Logano. I mean, I'm fine with it. I guess I don't know who else I would put there because like. Some of the guys that are missing, guys that I liked from back in the day and stuff, they don't have two championships or even one championship. So it kind of feels like, yeah, it makes more sense probably for it to be him. But, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. You guys can let me know what you thought if there were some people that deserved it, that didn't get on, or vice versa. I mean, there's a few people on that list, even from the last time, that were pretty much clearly on there for, you know, kind of like pity, nostalgia, or who they were affiliated with, or whatever. It's like, okay, two people that absolutely should be there, of course, Dale Jr., Dale Sr., right? But why was... Why, what was the need to put Ralph on there? Like, no offense to Ralph, but is he one of the 75 greatest drivers of all time? You know, stuff like that. There's some names on the list. Guys that, you know, died too soon. And it's like, yeah, that's sad and they were good, but why are they on the list kind of, kind of vibes? Like Neil Bonnet. Like, you know, I'm sure he was a great guy and uh, obviously he was a talented racer, but... I feel like he's only on there because he died. You know what I mean? Like it's there's some there's some wiggle room where they could have not had some people on there and then had more room for other people. But on the flip side, you have to start thinking like, who do you put on there? Um, and there's there's guys that I that I have liked over the years, and it's like I was a big fan, but that doesn't mean I thought they were one of the greatest drivers of all time. And I really like Elliot Sadler, I really like Jamie McMurray, people like that, but they're definitely not the greatest of all time, you know what I mean? So, yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know. And it's like, how is Matt Crafton not on this on this list? Like, I understand that all of his accolades are in one series, but they've put guys on there for the same reason. Like, Sam Ard's on there for his Grand National accomplishments, and Hornaday, most of his accomplishments are from the truck series. How do you not put Crafton on that list? Crafton is basically modern-day Hornaday. <laughs> so, that that that's one that I felt like for sure. So, like, if they didn't put Logano... But put Kraft in, I would feel maybe slightly better, even though that's like saying that Logano's two cup championships don't mean as much as Crafton's four. Is it four truck championships? Three or four? Anyway, which doesn't sound right either, but like then you're talking about replacing Kinseth or, or Johnson. It's like I just feel like there's some some people that made the list that maybe aren't as accomplished in my opinion as someone like Matt Crafton. But yeah, I don't know. It's it's a rough thing. It's a rough thing to, to say. Jack Sprague, you know, people like that too. Again, truck series mostly, but then you're like belittling what they accomplished. Oh God. Why does it keep popping up? I don't care about Boris said. <laughs> Stop showing me Boris Ed's name. It just keeps showing me. Um, anyway, so we're now into lab traffic while I've been rattling on. Um, I don't know when we hit halfway on fuel. I was not paying attention. So that's good. Uh, <laughs> we're definitely not going to make it. Well, actually, we could make it on one stop. Because even if it was... I'm going to say it was like around lap 35. I wasn't really paying attention, but I was kind of at the start of that that section so it's like we should be able to go 60 ish yeah that's the problem though 60 ish right so if it's 35 we could go 70 and then we'd be fine on one more stop but the fact that they pitted on lap 14 or whatever is kind of concerning because that makes me feel like they knew they couldn't make it to halfway and I feel like that means I'm not going to but I feel like I was at the very least I know I was still green light at lap 30 so beyond that I'm not entirely sure and I'm definitely not saving fuel I mean I'm running hard but I'm trying to build up as big of a lead as possible and lap as many people as like oh it is Scott Wimmer I kept saying Ward Burton. It's Scott Wimmer. God oh, dang it. <laughs> I'm so bad at remembering which game, which year that certain people were wherever, you know? Oh, God. Wrong oh, way. Okay. Was Ward Burton not racing in this year? I feel like he was, though, wasn't he? Oh, you know what it was? I th I think he's just, the car he was driving isn't in the game. Maybe it was a licensing thing? Somebody pitted, by the way. Um, it might have been a licensing thing, because he was driving the 4, I think, at this point. Right? I think he was driving the 4. They're pitting again? Shane. Freaking meal, and that caused a wreck because he still tried to get to pit road. You freaking guy. I was clearly inside of you, man. And then he ducks in, uh, hops over a bump, and then that causes a caution, even though he didn't hit anything. Wow. Great game. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like the state water hero, he heroes? <laughs> Heaters uh, number four, I think, right? I feel like that's right. I don't know. Uh, don't repair damage do everything else there should still be plenty of people pit there's some people that had already pitted but yeah there's definitely still going to be quite a few that do so we're not going to be last the problem is we can't make it from here and they might be able to because they're ai you know because i don't know like i'm thinking i get 70 laps on a fuel run 
and cost me a spot or two. I'm thinking I get right, I'm 17. Oh God. I'm thinking I get 70 laps maybe, right? And yeah, we're on lap 54. I'm going to run out like <laughs> probably two to go. Unless it was a little better than that and I just didn't see it. But I feel like, oh man, it's going to be close, basically. Uh, I, w I would definitely be fine with another caution coming out and saving a few laps of fuel. So if it does, all the better, right? But yeah, anyway. <sighs> we had a, a long talk there about a thing that's probably already been decided. By the time this video comes out, you'll probably know if Matt Kinseth or whoever was the last ones that they added Logano. But I, at this point, didn't know. So feel free to let me know I'm stupid in the comments for talking about something that's already over. But come on, it's not over for me at this moment, all right? Past me here is, is still not... Oh, in the no. Oh, Junior was so close. I almost, I almost came across this. Oh man, he's trying real hard to get around me. Ken Schrader's in the top ten. This makes me happy. And see, that's somebody else, right? Like, I'm a huge Ken Schrader fan, and he's very, very experienced in all fields of racing, pretty much. But. Would I put him on the greatest drivers of all time list? Of course not, you know. But that doesn't mean he's not a great guy and a great driver and somebody that I've always enjoyed watching. It's just a matter of, you know. Oh, Spitzer's blowing up. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, nobody died. I don't know if he made it to pit road, though. He did not. He's still going down the front stretch. He's on the apron, though, so hopefully it'll be okay. By the way, Jeff Burton, who wrecked early, is leading. He must have used the pit stop for, for that to his advantage. Sorry, Wimmer. Boris Seds up here. Yeah, people who had issues or people who were toward the back really benefited from that uh, caution. Question is, we have to really, really watch for when we uh, when we hit halfway this time, <laughs> for sure, for sure. So we restarted on lap 54. When we hit halfway, that's going to tell us what we need to know. But I still wouldn't be against a quick caution anytime now. I don't want to wreck anybody on purpose. I know a lot of people feel like I wreck. <laughs> I wreck people in these games all the time, like on purpose, but I honestly don't. <laughs> it's usually just some stupid accident or just a mistake uh, that I made, but not, not with the intent of killing somebody. Occasionally I've been known to go out of my way to, uh, to wreck someone. I cannot get around Jeremy Mayfield. I keep trying to set him up for a run. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna just arc under him there all right so we got uh is that casey kane in second ricky rudd third then tony stewart who started toward the back and jimmy johnson that's the top five and then me and jeremy interesting i don't know if schrader is going to hang on to a top 10 but that'd be cool to see it just depends on how this pit stuff uh pit stop stuff goes Like, did these guys that stayed out, are, are they going to have to pit again? Oh, no, 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 no. I've been saving it for half a lap. Okay, there we go. Saved it. <laughs> Good Lord. All right. So there is, I mean, there's 54 laps to go. Or thereabouts. Now there is. And, yeah, <laughs> which is ironic, we, we pitted it lap 54. We really need 
I restarted on lap 54. We didn't pit, but same difference. Um, but yeah, so we... We need... I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> We needed to be able to go 36 laps on half a tank of fuel for me to be sure I can make it to the end just barely. Oh God. So that would mean 90. Lap 90 is when I need it to say I'm halfway on fuel. Anything before that and we got to pit again. Right? Yeah. So we need to go 14 more laps without seeing that yellow light come on. Oh, by the way, Tony Stewart took the lead. I was thinking that was him and I wasn't paying attention, but it is Jeff Burton, in fact. Okay. So Tony Stewart took the lead. He's leading laps, getting some bonus points because that existed back, back then. <laughs> Ricky Rudd looking for the lead now. Interesting. Interesting to see Rudd up here. Oh, I am glad Ricky Rudd's on that list. I think he was on from the previous time, but he may have never won a championship, but if you don't think Rudd was one of the greats, you didn't watch enough racing from, from that era. <laughs> okay. Slip by the rooster and the Iron Man. He had a few names. And we are behind my favorite driver of all time, Tony Stewart. I hear crashing. I heard metal clashing together, but I guess a caution didn't come out. All right. Again, a quick caution wouldn't be bad. A quick caution wouldn't be bad. It would gain us a few laps of fuel saved. I think it would probably make things safe for us. Ooh, I felt that get away from me, and I was like, chase it up the track, please. And they have to feather the throttle there, too. But yeah, quick caution wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. We might be okay, but I'm a little scared. I mean, then again, people pitted with me, right? So... They gotta be able to make it. But then again, the AI saves more fuel than me. It's usually not as bad at a... I heard more metal crashing. Uh, it's usually not as bad at the short tracks. Usually you're a bit safer on that. But, um... But, yeah, the... The AI still usually save more fuel. Oh, people are pitting again! What? I'm... Okay. I'm confused. Is that the people that stayed out? Well, isn't Tony one of them? Does that mean he's going to pit? Should I not be pressing him so hard? I was trying to get to the lead. But... No, wait, that's everybody, right? What? Sorry about that. Some noisy was happening. Uh, anyway, that's everybody, dude. What is happening? There's Jeremy. He's coming off pit road. Oh, goodness. He did not give Tony room there. We haven't hit halfway yet. Two more laps and I think we're safe. So... Are we about to win by like a lot after everybody pits and we don't have to? <laughs> okay, we made it to lap 90. I think if we complete this, we're, we're definitely safe, so... I don't know. I'm a little confused by this. Also, it's like a second person maybe went out, or they're still pitting. I don't know which. Oh yeah, there's more people hitting pit road. There goes Tony Stewart. Wow. And we still haven't hit halfway on fuel. Alright, Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. 
That commercial, I'll never forget it. It was man, commercials back then were so much better. Commercials starring random NASCAR drivers. They were funny. They, you know, took chances. They, they freaking played into the drivers' personalities and stuff. Oh, golly. All right. I thought I could get clear of him there, but I did not. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, he's keen. All right, so Stewart. Stewart is one lap down, possibly two, if I can get around him here. Oh, I hit halfway on fuel, by the way. <laughs> Previous lap. but So we're good. We're fine. Right? Yeah. So we don't have to pit again. So not only are we definitely going to win this race, we're going to win it by a lot. Now, obviously, tire wear is going to be an issue. And we're going to handle worse. And I probably shouldn't be pressing to get around Tony Stewart right now. Okay. Got a piece of the wall there. But uh, I would like to put two laps on everybody I was racing around before. That would be nice. Ooh, start with that crossover on road there. So we are we are one lap ahead. But I feel like that means not everybody's pitted because should, shouldn't we be two? Or is it Casey Kane that's in second? Or wait, who what? <laughs> I wish this game had the running order thing where we could actually see who was where. You know? That would be nice. But it, this game does not have that. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't actually know. Alright, so we are at 25 to go. We should be okay on fuel. Tire wear is going to become an issue. But... Okay, yeah, Kane was it. Okay, okay, okay. I wasn't sure. All right, so Kane's technically in second now, two laps down. A caution comes out. I mean, we wouldn't have to pit, but we literally couldn't still be one lap ahead because they'd take the wave around or whatever, right? So, but I don't think we have to pit. As long as we're careful and don't crash or anything, we're fine. This is amazing. I was so worried about them having pit strategy on me that <laughs> that I didn't realize I would be the one that got the great pit strategy. I don't know how that happened. So why did they all pit on lap 14? Like maybe if it had gone green, that would have benefited them. But because those cautions came out when they did it, changed everything, right? Must be what it is. But I feel like at least some of the field that pitted with me was good to go. If I was good to go, they definitely were because they saved fuel more than me. So that is weird. I feel like at least some of the people, like, all right, so Stewart and Schrader and people like that, they definitely stayed out, right? So I could see them not being able to make it. But what about everybody? Why did literally the whole field pit again, you know? The guys who pitted with me junior and people like that they should have been fine hmm. yeah i don't know that one's a little weird that one's a little weird oh well either way i'll take another win <laughs> i'll take it we've had uh it's been a real roller coaster for sure so we we need these wins it's a long season, though, so, like, I'm fairly convinced we're going to win by a, a large margin in the end. But there's going to be some tracks where things are going to go wrong, and we're going to have bad races. So I'm not going to complain about getting a win handed to me, but it's a little weird, right? I really don't understand why it worked out this way. I do know that some, tr oh, 
It just keeps getting into Scott Wimmer. It just keeps happening. Um, but I do know some tracks the AI have kind of broken pit strategy uh, in some of the games. I didn't know if Bristol was one for this one. I couldn't remember, but apparently so. I feel like I've been screwed over on pit strategy here, but not so, not so much given this huge advantage, but yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to quit complaining. Okay, so we are lapping these guys probably like three or four times at this point, <laughs> given how things have gone. Orange fuel light. Ooh. Orange fuel light. I mean, we should still be okay. So we're basically at, well, 11 laps to go. Red fuel light will still be a few laps of cushion, but I'm a little scared. I mean, technically, we could come down pit road for a splash of fuel only and not lose the lead, realistically. With a two-lap lead, we should be okay to do that. So if it looks like it's going to run out with a couple laps to go, then I guess I'll do that, but... I'm not going to do it unless I feel like I have to. I could be conserving fuel right now. <laughs> There's no doubt that I could be conserving fuel. But I'm not, you know, because it's just not in my nature. I feel like the more people I lap, the more distance I put on these guys behind me, then the more leeway I have if something goes wrong. All right, mirrors, get on with you. Oh man. This is a long race though, even on this, uh, on this length. I mean, this is only one quarter length, 25%. Imagine, I mean, I'm sure you, <laughs> you don't have to imagine, you know, the full thing is 500 laps. I've only done that a couple of times in my history of playing these games, and it wasn't even in this game. It was in, um, it was in, I want to say it was NASCAR 99 that I did a 500 lap race at Bristol, and I think I might have done it in Thunder 03 as well, but I don't often do 100% races. In fact, I could count on one hand probably the amount of time I've done 100% races just because they're just ridiculously too long, you know? I think the only... No, no, no. Oh, oh God. Oh, that dodge got in the back of me, too. Oh. oh. Freaking two to go, and I almost bend it, dude. Freaking Boris said to. Oh man, all right. And then this guy ran right in the back of me as I was saving it. But white flags out. We haven't even hit the red fuel light, so we're fine. But uh, I definitely almost bend it there. I'm definitely getting past this jerk though. Thank you. We're getting lapped again. We win at Bristol. Holy moly! Oh, that's weird. It shows the running order while I'm doing my burnout. Why did that happen? Well, at least give me the good uh, smoke or not. Come on. I can't see my car. Give me the good smoke. What the heck, game? Why are you so stingy? There you go. So our running order, Greg Biffle was second, then Casey Kane, Tony Stewart, Jeremy Mayfield, Ricky Rudd, Jimmy Johnson, Kurt Busch, Jeff Burton, and Mike Bliss rebounded to a top 10 after I was saying he's been good this year but was running bad at the start of this race or qualified bad. Well, here he was in the top 10 after all. That's crazy. Okay, in the end, we led 77 of 125 laps. That is the most on the day. Started last, finished first. As I said, here's the rest of that top 10 we already saw. But Tony Stewart led 18 laps. Ricky Red led two. Jeff Burton also led 18 laps. Mike Bliss from 39th to 10th. Here's Dale Jr. And here's the rest of the field. Jeff Gordon led six laps at one point. Interesting. 
Scroll on down through here. Schrader ended up 28th, that's too bad. On down through the field. Joe Nemechek led four laps from the pole, but ended up 35th, three laps down. Four laps down from here, Jefferson, I think, was the guy that I got into it with, that Dodge, Boris said, of course. Wimmer, these guys I had some issues with. Kenseth just had a miserable race. Ended up four laps down. Jimmy Spencer, the only car who went out of the race. All right, well, we continue. And we celebrate. Yay! And here are our standings. We are now firmly in the points lead. I don't, were we last time? I don't think we were. Well, maybe we were. But either way, we are now firmly in the points lead with a 37-point lead over Tony Stewart, a 79-point lead over Greg Biffle. Then it's a pretty big jump to Jeff Gordon, who's worked his way up to fourth, is 210 points back. Jimmy Johnson, 214 points back in fifth. And you got Harvick, Dale Jr., Carl Edwards, Mike Bliss in ninth, and Ryan Newman in 10th. Look how close that is, 50-51-52. Mike Bliss in the top 10 in points after another good run for him. This has been quite the year for Bliss. Scroll on down through here. Some guys that should be running better but aren't dotted around back here. And Kyle Busch, I got the hat. He's, he's not doing it, man. He's not having a great one. Kenseth also not doing great. And uh, and some guys you kind of expect to be back here for sure. But anyway... 47 people have attempted races. So, yeah. Like I say, there's going to be probably a point where we have a big points lead. But there are races where things can go horribly wrong for us. So, who knows. But that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hammer that like button. Share with your friends. Subscribe if you're new. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And I will see you guys next time for Old Spice, which really should go well for us. Typically, I dominated Old Spice, but pit strategy can be a thing, and I don't know. I could I could bend it and, and, and wreck and, and mess things up, so you never know. But either way, I'll see you guys next time for more. Bye!